Hey, what's up everyone? Jared Degater here with MLC CAD Systems. I want to go through a little quick tech tip on how to create a custom material. And how you do that is opening up a, a part and then coming over into your feature manager design tree and right clicking on that material icon and selecting edit material. That's going to bring up by default, we have quite a few uh, SolidWorks provided materials that are readily available. Sure, most of you guys have already seen that. But if you notice, all the way at the bottom of this list, there is a blue folder that says custom materials. You also might have, uh, you know, a few existing categories of those custom materials, just depending on, you know, what has been customized in your particular environment. Uh, and in order to create an additional material, you can right click on that custom materials folder and you can select new category. Like if you want to group your materials in a, in a particular category. That'll bring this up right here. We're just going to call this custom metals. After that category has been created, you simply right click that category and select new material. At that point, you can name your custom steel or custom whatever you know name you want to actually provide for this particular material. And you can spell out all of the various mechanical properties over here on the right side. So that's one method that you can use. Uh, a somewhat easier method, depending on, on what you're going for, is to copy an existing material. So if you're going to make a material that's very similar to one of your existing ones, say, you know, you're using, I don't know, 60, 61, or something to that effect, you can come in and copy that. Just right click it and select copy. And then you can come over and right click on the category that you'd like to create that new material in and select paste. And that's going to just paste that an exact duplicate of that particular material in your new custom uh, category that you've created. We can just type a little suffix here that says custom. That way we know that's our custom uh, alloy. And then of course you could come in and, and modify this to whatever value you wanted. I don't know, maybe this is slightly heavier or something because it's a custom aluminum alloy. Uh, but anyway, that's probably the, the easier method that you can use. Uh, you would want to go ahead and hit apply after that. And then you're going to have the flexibility to come in uh, to any of the, the parts that you're working on. And whenever you hit edit material, you can come in and select any of those custom materials that you've got. Hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out to us. We're at mlc-cad.com. Have a great one.